but it's very good. It reminds me uh, a lot of uh, a more complex Newcastle. If you guys have ever had Newcastle Brown Ale, it has nuttiness to it, but it has like a nice, not caramel, but like some woodiness to it. That's like you find in like a bourbon, which uh, is a very nice, very nice taste when you're drinking a beer. You can't, um, you know, again, these craft beers, you can't chug these. You can't do anything like that. Um, it's more about taste and just sinking in the, the, uh, the taste here. Um, this is kind of a seasonal ale. I don't think I would purchase this. I mean, I got a fan request and, uh, of course I'm going to stand up for that. Um, I would definitely wanted to try it again. It's very, very good. But, um, if it, the weather wasn't so cold, you know, it was a little chilly outside. I don't think this is something I'd get, but during these uh, winter months, this is something great to look forward to. Very enjoyable. Um, yeah, yeah, you used to pick these up and uh, drink a different selections of these. Uh, Samuel Smith's actually has a uh, pale ale that isn't quite a pale ale. Like, it's only like 6% alcohol and it's not so hoppy that you can barely drink it. Kind of like the problem I had with the Green Bench. Um, this beer is much more enjoyable. I gotta be honest with you, I rate, rate Newca Newcastle slightly higher than Samuel Smith uh, for a brown ale. Uh, Samuel Smith Nut Brown Ale has kind of a tinge of the alcohol. Um, I don't want to be tasting that while I'm drinking beer. It's um, a little bit, uh, I don't know, I like a little less uh, alcohol tinge on the beer. It's interesting though. I mean, the the nut nuttiness, uh, the hops in the background, and uh, I don't know. It almost has like a stout like aftertaste. Very uh, very thick taste. Not like a not again not like a Guinness, but it is a brown ale. Uh, but stop, there's some stout qualities within uh, the Samuel Smiths here. Uh, if you're not a stout fan, do not drink this. It's not for you. Um, but if you look, if you like stouts and you know you're like, oh, I don't want to drink a Guinness. It's a little too heavy. Uh, go for the Samuel Smith Nut Brown Ale. Actually, uh, this is running around $4.95 per bottle. I got it at an ABC Liquor. That's probably the only place you can get it. Unless your uh, gas local gas station has a uh, you know like a beer cave or some gimmick like that, then you could get it there. Um, I'm not sure about the alcohol content on this. Um, just guessing by the taste of it, I would I would guess it's a hovering around 6.0, probably you know a percent more than your domestics. But that's not the point here. Um, very heavy in taste. We'll give it one more time. Um, in comparison, uh, I would give Newcastle, uh, sometimes a 7.0 out of 10. I'm giving the Samuel Smith a, uh, 6.5 out of 10. Um, that maybe, um, I don't understand the intricacies of the brown ale, but, um, just for personal taste, this is a little too heavy. Um, but you know, it's a sentimental beer, so... You know, tonight I might score it an eight, but overall for my fans and for people, uh, you know, trying to figure out what uh, the best items for, for a value price, they're not really value price, but um, I got to whittle it down to a 6.5. Anyways, guys, enjoying a great, uh, great little brown ale tonight. Hope you guys are having a great time relaxing, getting off of work, getting ready for bed, whatever you're doing, more reviews to come. Please stay tuned. Thanks for subscribing. Check the website. We'll see you next time.